hello, 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 everybody. Hope you are doing well. Merry Christmas. Is it today or tomorrow? The German people celebrate Christmas today. And we, the Nigerians, we know what's up. It's on the 25th. No play. So today's the 25th. And I think this video will come out probably in New Year. So I'm just going to wish you happy new year in advance and yo so today i'm just sitting here i love making this video of things that i am grateful for oh. <laughs> that's the story mm -mm. it's not disturbing i told you so you where do you want to stay yeah i can stay here that i'm cute i'm sexy madam i'm here not with the chips. I didn't tell you to bring chips along. Ah. I have to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of yeah, wait, wait, yeah. <laughs> Christmas time or at the end of the year, I like doing this kind of get ready with me where I'm just seated down doing my makeup, my um, supposed Christmas makeup or the next year inspired makeup that I'll be doing for the whole year. I like sitting down doing that at the same time, chit chatting with you all um, of what I'm grateful for, you know. <laughs> this video is again that type of video. I'm not sure if I've ever done a what I'm grateful for video, um, but I think I have. Not really sure. But if I have not, then this is going to be the first one. Um, so let's just dive into it. While I am doing the makeup, I'll be showing you guys what I'm using. And this video is not sponsored in any way. They're just my makeup stuff that I love using and that I just recently got. And I thought to just, you know, introduce it into the video as well. Um, the first thing that I love doing, I am already done with my skincare. And I also filmed a skincare slash skin routine. It's going to probably come up before this video or it this video will come up before it. But anyway, I'm just going to tag it anywhere in the video and then you can go watch it. I'm just going to dive in with the first product that I'll be using, an Yulon Primer. And I just recently got it. This is the first time I'm ever using this primer and I think it is said that it's hydrating and all this kind of stuff so i'm just going to apply it looks like a moisturizer oh it really feels good and smells good the first thing that i'm always and forever will be grateful for is the birth and the death of jesus christ probably you, you all don't know i am a christian live since birth the German will say Zeit Mutter Mensch. So I have been a Christian all my life. So there is a very big difference of being a Christian, do things that are routinely a Christian thing. And then you are a Christian and you know, no, no, of Jesus Christ. He's like your best friend. You have in a personal relationship with him. So I'm very, very grateful that of the birth of Christ and how he came and died for all of humanity so literally the birth and the death of christ is the most perfect gift that was given from god to humanity jesus christ coming as god in human form and laying his life for us and redeeming us from the hold of sin in liberating us from the kingdom of darkness into his marvelous light hmm. that's like the best thing ever what kind of friend can do that for you Nobody except Jesus Christ. So I'm very, very grateful for his birth and I'm grateful for his death. Guys, this is the first time I'm ever using this got to be um, Stalin Kleber. <laughs> Stalin what? Glue. It's gonna put my lashes in place. So that is done. I do do my lashes first before I need a thing. I need my um, brow pencil and I need to go look for it. Mind you, I do not have a mirror in this room, so I'm using my camera slide screen as one. So if I kind of like go this way and try to get a better view, don't get mad at me. So I'm going to do a light stroke um, brow. Like I don't want it to be too much. I do love my brow to be as natural as possible. So the next thing that I'm grateful for 
is my daily growth with Christ and my daily growth with God in general. I started developing a habit of having to, um, you know, be alone and pray all night, just spending time with Christ, and that has literally made me grow in Him, not just physically, spiritually, and mentally. Yo, it's just like a way of decluttering, and I think I have posted a video I just did, yes, I did last night, I posted a video of how I declutter and how I spend time with God. You all should make sure to go see that video. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so I don't want to browse a bit so much, so that is basically what I'm going to just do with it. I just try to fill in the parts of my brow that are scanty, and I'm going to clean it up with a concealer. I'm just generally grateful for my growth with God and how He has practically been revealing Himself one way or the other to me. And I have seen that staying in His presence has really unleashed his wisdom his knowledge and understanding about certain stuff and yeah just being grateful for that i'm done with my brows and that is how they look like i'm just going to now go in with my foundation and i'm using this um rare beauty i almost said fenty beauty i'm using this rare beauty foundation in the shade of 560 w this um foundation i got them online i mean the product i got them online i hate shopping on site so it is a bit darker than my skin tone it's not so dark on camera right now but reality i think is darker than my skin tone mind you my beauty blender is wet like def like i washed it so it's totally like wet it's very very helpful to blend in all the foundation in place so the next thing that i am grateful for is my immediate family yo after god family is literally the next thing that i am always grateful for very very understanding and i like, will stick together <laughs> through thin and thick uh, sometimes i can be the most difficult person on planet earth and my sister will be the person to carry all of those baggages for the meantime and um you know my family the next thing that i'm grateful for and we quarrel and we settle again and blame each other i mean what is family for if you guys don't quarrel there's no perfect family and mine is not one of the perfect family and we do not, do not pretend to be one we do quarrel with each other i fight with my dad fight with my mom but at the end of the day god is still at the center of the family and we are still strong in love and still um pushing through life as a family so i'm very very good for my immediate family and also for my extended family one way or the other my cousins are always very supportive they make us laugh and all this kind of stuff so i'm very very grateful for family and i am a family girl so literally want to build one someday so that foundation it's looking good on camera like it's not as dark as it is in reality but and the coverage of this foundation is very high i just needed like few drops and then everything all the imperfections are covered and imperfections are the things that make you perfect so don't run away from them so that is it for the foundation the next thing i have here is my rare beauty concealer I'm just going to use that to highlight all the parts of my face that I want to be highlighted, like right here on the other eye, and swipe that up like that. That is literally how I conceal. So I have cleaned out my brows, and this is how they look like. Just a very, very low-key brow. So right now, I'm still going to use the same beauty blender and blend out and use this clean part of it and blend out all my concealed parts. So the fourth thing that I am grateful for is literally life in general. And who gives life? This practically brings me back to God again. God. I'm grateful for the good life and the good health He has given me so far. And I can never take that for granted. Yo, I work in a hospital as a nurse. And I do see how people suffer and fight for their life. 
and you literally see how your body is feeling you lord and when i see that you do you guys don't know how grateful i am for life for the life of my family the life of my friends that i get to see every day and you know they're doing all well nothing is wrong with them physically mentally i mean it's such a miracle like to experience this good health all around me and people around me having to live well and fine i mean it's something i can never ever take for granted and i am grateful for that as well i'm grateful to god for always keeping my family and my friends and keeping me in good health i mean it's something i cannot personally control um the human body is not something one can control it feels everyone at some point in time and i am always very grateful that i have good life and good health at the same time so yeah that is one of the things that i'm most grateful for and that is why it is on my top list i'm going to use my blush first before setting my face with my setting powder and this blush is also from rare beauty in the shade lucky blush so i am just going to dab that around there so if you guys know me i have been using a darker blush for the longest of time so i thought to have a change and i decided to go for a very light pinky blush mind you pink is not like my favorite favorite color but this blush is blushing and i am loving it i don't know do you guys smile to put on your blush i don't because it looks weird afterwards so i just like keep my face normal and then just apply the blush that upward so the next thing that I am grateful for, I'm grateful for godly wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Guys, the scripture that I have been standing on is Isaiah 11 verse 2, where the Spirit of God um, is talked about, the seven spirits of God, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of might, the spirit of counsel, and the spirit of the spirit of God. <laughs> so I have been standing on the scriptures and I have been praying for God to give me the seven spirit and to be honest with my dealings in the past few months has been totally different i the way i deal with people the way i love people is different the way i communicate with people is different i do not say i dislike someone rather i pray for them if that makes sense so i have been praying for the spirit and god has been very very good to having to unleash them onto me so i am very grateful for godly wisdom for godly knowledge and godly understanding so that is what i'm basically grateful for like you guys the things in this world can literally drive you not <laughs> you need not just the earthly facts and earthly wisdom and things that are logic to go through life sometimes you need supernatural wisdom like there are some things i do not take in but these days I've been taking them in and I'm like, hmm, that is not me. Because if it was me, I'll bring down my wig for you. And we are going nuts together. We are going crazy. I'm, I'm like, I'm about to deal with you. But um, all of that has changed. I am more tolerable now. I am more loving. I just discovered that the spirit of God that he has blessed me with are the things that are literally making me to be such a good person like normally i am not a very very good person or the most loving person ever i lose my temper sometimes and say things that i'm not supposed to say and then regret it later but i noticed that for the um for the past few months i have just been keeping my cool and i wonder about myself why am i so cool about stuff that i would normally get mad at but it's just the spirit of god just telling me to keep quiet and not to things according to how i'm feeling it rather i'm just being led by the spirits of god 
and I am so grateful for that because that has really saved me a lot of stress. It saved me from having to break down, having a mental breakdown because of some humans. The next thing that I go for is a contour. I do not know how to contour, so please have mercy on me. I am done contouring. I will just blend all of that in using this brush. While I tell you people the next thing on my list that I am grateful for. So the next thing on my list that I'm grateful I'm grateful for is my church community. I kill all those people. They are family. Like when you get to a church community that are strong in God, Jesus at the center of the church and is seen as the bridegroom and they are very supportive in every way and they never leave or forsake you. I mean, you always find one person in church that loves the way Christ had. I feel like everybody's just like that. We are very loving and very kind. You see that the overflowing power of God is always um, in us. So I'm very grateful for that. Whenever there is a weak link, you will always see the other person trying to bring that other person up. So that is one thing I am very grateful for my church community. You're just the best. And I think God just led my parents because I found my parents in the church and it's a very good church. And if you guys really want to know what church I attend, I will leave the link of the YouTube below and you guys can check the church out. You should please tell me how I did because that is how far I can go with the contour. So the seventh thing that I am grateful for is are my friends. Guys, I think I need to sit down and talk about my friends. The friends that I have, they have really been a very strong strong support for me when it comes to academics they've really been very supportive and i'm literally going to make a whole video just thanking them and sending the links out to them to what click and watch <laughs> i'm very grateful for my friends yo the advice i'll give you every young person is make a good friend a friend that supports you a friend that is there for you make a very good friend a friend that reaches out to you when you do not reach out i am not one of the person that like texting or like going out but i've seen that my friends they do stick by me even when i run away from them so make good friends friends that are always willing to give a helping hand a good friend not friends that you go drink alcohol with not friends that you smoke with but friends that will you know lead you to your purpose you know friends that are god-based you know friends that are good not just any kind of friend because they pass the vibe make friends that are ready to go with you through thin and thick like my friends that i have I, my circle is very small right i could basically tell you the amount of friends good friends that i have very small circle but they are powerful very very powerful most of them do not like do the whole thing that i do but at the same time they play a very good role in my life and i pray for them every day so make good friends please make good friends in your 20s that's the first advice i'm going to give you make good friends friends that have good influence on you because your friends they will definitely tell who you are so i'm grateful for my good small circle of friends that i have they've been very very supportive they've gone with me through thick and thin and sometimes i do feel like they're always there in a season and even afterwards they're always reaching out to me we're getting there so let's get to try to make the eye a little bit bold so i'm not trying to do something crazy oh i do have a mirror i do i should have a mirror somewhere Okay, so I'm going to go in with my blush and put that on my eyelid. And that is looking better than I expected. Okay, so I have blended that out with my finger. So for my waterline, I'm going in with my black pencil. So the next thing that I'm grateful for is academic success. Like, yo, last, this year, I finished my nursing college and at the end of it i started having 
difficulty and uh, you know this this moment when you're about to end something and the motivation just like goes down like i'm i know i notice that i'm not this kind of a person that is always motivated at the end of the road so i pray to god real hard <laughs> and then he granted me with this academic success and the thing was i was really scared at the very end i thought i was not going to make it i remember when the results were announced i thought i was going to faint i thought i wasn't going to make it but yo it was an excellent success i must say it was something i never expected you know i i thought i was going to fail my first paper first of all because it was difficult it was crazy everybody thought we were going to fail it um but i was so excited when it was announced that i passed it and i passed it well it was something i never expected i remember when i have like good feelings about my exam that I know I studied well and everything that I studied like was on the exam and then I would come back home and give my parents and my siblings the assurance that oh that exam I'll pass it for real for real and um this one was not like it I came back home and I started crying I told my mom I don't know if I'm gonna pass it and I was so scared like everybody was like what is that for an exam I'm like what the heck is that and then i went home not saying anything too negative but inside of me was burning and at that point i was like god if i pass this exam it's not my doing it's your doing so i'm so grateful for academic success for this year because you know you guys didn't know and you know there, there was this period of time we had we had to wait for the results to come out that took about three months and the process of waiting god in heaven was the one that sustained me so i'm very very grateful for academic success <laughs> because it was literally the worst it, it's a nightmare like literally when you have a feeling you're going to feel something and having to um repeat it for the next six months is not a child's play like i was like god in heaven i don't want to i don't want to repeat this exam and that is exactly what i got i had faith in god and he came through so i'm grateful to god for um academic success it was crazy and looking back right now it, it was just a miracle and i just want to thank god for that so guys i do not know where i can get a very brown lip liner i need a brown lip liner i do not seem to like find it anywhere please i need help you guys should give me suggestions because i i don't know like a black girl like me i need a brown lip liner i can't seem to get my hands on anyone that is perfect right now i'm using my fenty beauty contour stick to kind of line my lips because i can't seem to find any brown dark lip liner it's doing the work a bit. I'm going to go in with this nude lip um, lipstick from Essence. I'm just going to dab that at the middle of my lips. This look is coming out so well. And next thing that I'm using is this Fenty Beauty lip gloss. Like I saw this lip gloss about a year ago, and I've been meaning to get it. It was always out of stock and got and got side down. And thank God I found it on Sephora on Black Friday, and I was like. I'm getting it immediately because it was always sold out. It was one girl on line that made this lip gloss go so viral. And during that period, it was literally always sold out. And I couldn't get a hold of it. So when I found it, I was like, I'm not letting it go. <laughs> it's the prettiest lip gloss ever. So the next thing I'm doing right now is to bronze my face with this. Muffy bronzer. So that is it for the bronzer. And the next thing that I am so grateful for, I'm just grateful for today. <laughs> I'm grateful for every day that I get to get up from my bed and just see a very beautiful day that the Lord has made. And today is just one of those days that I am very, very grateful for. I'm grateful for every day i'm grateful for today today is the 25th of december our lord jesus christ was born in a manger i am so grateful for today um i don't know i can't i can't really explain the amount of joy in my heart 
that I slept last night and I wake up. It's a miracle. It's something we should bless God for every day. So I am so grateful for today. It's a new day and we ought to be grateful to God for providing such a wonderful day for us. Look at the weather. Look at nature. He just kept everything in place for us and I am so so grateful for each day that I get to see, I get to experience. It's such a blessing, such a miracle. It's something that I cannot um, influence. It's not in my power. It's not in my mind. You know, it's just the goodness of God that gets to keep me every day. And I am so grateful for that. I will never take it for granted. I am so grateful. Thank you, Lord. I'm almost done with my makeup. So I'm just going to use this highlighter because I want a little bit of glow. So I'll practically, look at my face right now, where the light hits, that's where I'm going to highlight. Like right there. Oh, Jesus. I think I need a mirror for this. I'm sorry. This highlighter, I got it off of Sephora as well. It's like the Sephora product. So I'm going to use this finished powder from Revolution to blend everything in. So the next thing I'm going to use is my setting spray. So last but not the least, I am just grateful for having the opportunity to be grateful. That for some reason found, found a way to my list. You guys should just imagine that I wasn't just there then I wouldn't be grateful at all. So I'm just happy that I am alive and I am here to be grateful for God for being such a good father, such a good, good God, such a loving father. I'm just grateful for being grateful. And that is the last thing on my list. So I used my socks to create a little bouncy curl. And this has been on my head since last night. So I'm just going to comb that out and try to get my hair. Let's fix this.